But we talk about this idea of uh, no pain, no gain. Uh, is, do you guys believe that that's something you could go forward with as an adolescent or a teenager? Um, I think that that's the cliche um, phrase in training, no pain, no gain. But at the end of the day, um, there is such thing as injuries. There is such thing as um, overuse injuries. So you have to be, uh, you have to monitor those type of injuries and the uh, movements that you're doing so you're not constantly overstressing those uh, ligaments, joints. Yeah, I'm gonna say the no pain, no gain thing is a very 90s, 80s thing, probably like when we were kids, right? That was like our parents like, ah, no pain, no gain, you know, and that was like the mentality. But as we've become a little more intelligent as a society and a little more advanced in the science of yeah. things, I think we realize that no pain, no gain is a, is a bad idea, you know, especially if it's just practice. Sure. If, you're just, if you're in competition, then maybe you gotta suck it up. But if you're, if you're practicing and your body's screaming at you, telling you, please stop, Listen to it. How do you teach your athletes to do that? Like, is, are there certain strategies you have or? So, f so f for me personally, um, what I like to do is uh, in the beginning of the week, I, uh, with my basketball players, um, I have them do vertical jump tests and I have them do it every week. So let's say uh, the first week um, they come in and they jump 30 inches on a vertical jump. Let's say they have three games and strenuous practices. The following week they come and their vertical jumps 20 inches. It's obviously it's very dramatic, but those are the type of things that I look for when you're talking about overtraining. Are they fatigued? Are they recovered properly? Or are they, are they training?